Welcome to another episode of Q-Doma TV with yours truly, Q-Doma. Now I'm going to tell you what's really grinding my gears today. Well, my main focus today, we're going to be talking about Neil Gaiman, yes! But I'm not mad at Neil Gaiman. I'm happy for Neil Gaiman. This is what it is about. Neil Gaiman, he not too long ago was working on this new show, Lucifer. We all know what Neil Gaiman is famous for. He's famous for Sandman and also Angela, which is also a Marvel comic that we all know about. And also was in the, I believe, the Image Universe. Another wonderful character of his, along with Death and some of the other wonderful characters he's also created as well. He's also the author of Carline. I saw the movie, which was most awesome. I have not read the book, mind you. Now, uh, if you're wondering what this whole thing about the uh, Lucifer TV show is, well, it appears to me that uh, what's going on is the concerned moms of America or the as you would call it the uh, what is it the, the CAV or whatever the hell they call themselves the CWA you know they feel that the Lucifer TV show is an issue now, I don't understand what their problem is. They need to deal with it. You know, I look like this. This is a free country, and, you know, you can say what you want to say. You know, you can almost damn near do whatever you want to do. You know, provided, you know, you're not killing somebody or whatever. Now, I look at it like this. You know, for those of us that like Neil Gaiman, raise your hand. That's me. Okay, well, I think we can all pretty much agree. You know, we've got a lot of great stuff from Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman has never hurt me or, you know, taken anything from me. So, you know, I think it's pretty much safe to say that we're good on that. We're good on that. Now, these moms of America, or these concerned moms of America, whatever you want to call them, you know, I understand they want to set up there and, you know, do this whole thing with their female equality and rights and better stuff for women. You know? You know, and I know y'all been around for a long time. Since 1979. Of course, I'm older than your organization, mind you. And I'm going to say this. You know, y'all got better things to do than to be attacking Neil Gaiman. You know, for the most part, for the fans out there that like Neil Gaiman, I don't think they would approve. And I look at it like this, if you really want the betterment for females, you know, you should be more open-minded to things. You know, I look at it like this, you know, there's nothing wrong with lesbians or, you know, women that want to be men or whatever the case may be is, you know, your little organization I hate to say it is very closed minded. Y'all need to wake up and see the truth. You know, what's going on? The reality is the world is not set in no perfect little box for your amusement. You have to realize that things don't work that way. It's a diverse world and universe. We got all get along and live on this same planet. If you don't like it, too bad. Now, moving on from that, now, I, look, I recently looked at an article of how Neil Gaiman handled this situation. You know, he took the, he took the response really good. Uh, from, of course, apparently, this hasn't been the first time that they have uh, done this. Uh, and this is what uh, Neil Gaiman had to say about the situation. 
He said, it seems like only yesterday, but it was 1991, and the Concerned Moms of America announced that they were boycotting Sandman because it contained lesbian, gay, and bi, and trans, transsexual characters. It was Wanda that upset them most. The idea of trans women in comic and comics, they told us they were organizing a boycott of Sandman, which they would only stop if we wrote to the American Family Association and promised to reinform. I wonder if they noticed it didn't work last time either. Lucifer is set to de debut this fall on Fox. Now, that being said, well, I think it's self-explanatory where this is going to go. It didn't work last time, it's not going to work this time. So, you know, you might as well keep it moving, concerned moms of America, because guess what? We're not concerned about you, and we just don't give a damn. And you know what? I'm wearing my, uh, what is it, uh, Church of Satan shirt, just for the hell of it. Praise Satan, and I'm loving it. And you know what? If you don't like it and you feel that we're corrupting the world, that's just fine and dandy. I love it. You know? Anyway, that's what I have to say about that. And you know, I think, I, I think I've said my piece here and I'm just going to leave it be. Any of y'all that have any questions or comments in dealing with this subject matter, Leave them below. I look forward to hearing you right away. This is Q Doma. I'm out. Now I'll see you in the future.